Welcome to this video on gland packing or compression packings. And this is the pump that we will be working on today. You can see the gland there with the shaft running through it and the adjusting nuts just there. These are some of the tools that we require when we're going to pack a gland. Some new gland packing, of course. This box has got quarter inch or six millimeter square section gland packing in it. A roll of it. Uh, this one's got uh, five, 16 or eight millimeter square gland packing. So the size that's required for this pump we're working on. This is a dummy shaft. I use this one when I'm packing a gland, a, a, a valve gland. Uh, this isn't the right diameter for the pump that we're working on at the minute. I haven't got one for that, so I will just use rounds of packing which have been brought out of the pump to do it. But this is a good way of keeping the rounds of packing nice and straight and square together and consistent. We do a nice straight cut. For a pump, we want a straight cut. For valves, 45 degrees like that. Good sharp packing knife is required so you get a, a nice neat cut on the ends of the packing rounds. Packing extractor tool, flexi drives with a corkscrew end on them. A little bit of pipe or round dowel or steel bar. It's, it's suitable and handy for just rolling out the packing because we roll it out and that thins the section slightly and without damaging the packing and it allows it to fit neatly into the gap between the shaft and the stuffing box. Well, let's get started and we'll uh, just pull the gland out of this pump. Just undo the adjusting nuts there on the, on the gland. What you can see about this gland is that it's hard up against the stuffing box. And what that means is that the packing has used up all its uh, compressibility and flexibility. And there's no more adjustment in it, which means that that pump would probably leak or start to leak. Also means that the packing could be hard. It lost all its lubrication, so the shaft turning could get very hot and the friction can burn grooves into the shaft. So if you kept the pump running for some time like that, you may have to rework the shaft quite a bit to get it back into a suitable condition to uh, allow the packing to stop leakage through the gland. Just pulling out the gland here. Using the packing extractor tool now to put it down into the stuffing box. You just rotate the little T-handle on the end and the flexi drive goes down nicely into the gap between the shaft and the stuffing box and just brings out the packing pretty easily. If you didn't have a packing extractor tool like this, a piece of welding wire or an old welding rod, sharpen a point on one end of it and you can bend it so that it can get down into that cavity and it will work just as well as the special tool here. It's important of course when you're re replacing the packing to make sure that all of the rounds are brought out of the stuffing box.
The packing is made up of uh, hemp or cotton or flax woven together and of course it's, uh, it's impregnated with uh, a good lubricant or grease and uh, so that when the shaft is rotating in there the friction is kept to a minimum. When the gland nuts are, are tightened up it squeezes the packing, compresses it and forces it against the shaft to seal any water that might try to get down along the shaft and also presses it out against the uh, stuffing box wall and that stops any uh, water that might try to go around and come out through the, the wall of the stuffing box. Manufacturers expect a small leakage to come out through the, the gland and for that reason they leave a, a drain hole just in the bottom of the pump there. This is a two-piece gland as you can see or a split gland. It makes it easy just to wrap around the shaft in position so you don't have to strip the, the whole pump down uh, to remove the gland or to change the packing. It's important to count the number of strands we've got. On. In this case we've got seven out of that pump. That means seven, at least seven new pieces and one more probably um, just to keep the, the gland back from the stuffing box and allow some adjustment, periodic adjustment on it. It's also important uh, once you have cleaned out the stuffing box uh, just to check the shaft, check the stuffing box for any damage or any wear. It's a little difficult with a shaft in situation like that. If the pump was stripped down of course that would make it much easier just to check. But any uh, deep scoring or, or uh, grooves in the shaft would be still uh, pretty visible just from here but everything looks all right in this uh, instance. So we can probably go ahead with just packing the gland. Just check the, the gland as well. Make sure that it's uh, in good condition. Now what we've got to do is make up uh, some new rounds of packing. I'm going to use one of the rounds from here it's important when they fit in that you have a nice neat butt up on the ends so that there is no path for leakage, no gap for leakage and for water under pressure to come down through there. So in this case what I'm going to do is use one of the old pieces of packing and then pull out the new packing and just lay it along the length of that, measure it with that packing round that I've got. Make sure that you've got a nice sharp knife and just cut it, slice it through and it gives a nice square end on it. So I need to make up seven rounds of that. When all of the rounds have been uh, cut, we can just take the uh, little bit of pipe and we can roll them out so that they're a little bit thinner in one section and that allows it to slip easily into the stuffing box.
when we put the rounds in, we just uh, make sure that they butt up nice and neatly on the ends, push them down into the stuffing box. It's important that every round that goes in, the joint is staggered in that in this case I'm making the, the joint 180 degrees away from the first one. The next one I'll put on the top again so there is no clear path for water to track its way down and out through the stuffing box. You can see the packing is right out to the end there and now we're going to put the gland over the shaft, wrap it around the shaft and put it into position over the gland adjusting bolts. Just fitting the nuts on and then we'll adjust them up a little bit. It's important that we've got plenty of adjustment left on those two bolts so that as the weeks and months go back past we can periodically just nip up the, the nuts and that will stop any leakage which might be occurring. You can see clearly the gap there between the, uh, the gland and the stuffing box. Probably about 10 millimeter or so. And that will allow plenty of adjustment to prevent any leakage. And so uh, that gland is ready for service now. Thank you for watching.